let's see today's question given to us is square a b c d and e f g h they are the midpoints of the sides we have taken a point randomly inside the square and joined this point to the midpoints that is e f g h now this dividing the square in four parts the area of three parts is given as 10 cm square 20 cm square and 24 cm square using this information we have to find the area of fourth part that's the area of shady region is what we have to find so before we check actual solution let's revise the concept related to triangles that in a triangle a median divides it into two equal areas that is a line joining the vertex to the midpoint of the third side will divide it into two equal areas so area of this triangle abd and triangle acd these are equal why they are equal because this sides bd and dc they are equal because d is midpoint and if we'll draw a line parallel from a to bc then we'll see for both the triangles the height is equal so for both the triangles the area can be said to be half of base into height that is half of x into h and thus these two triangles will have equal areas let's apply this concept in our solution so we are calling this random point as p now in triangle a p b e is the midpoint or p e is the median so area of these two triangles will be equal let's call these areas as w and w same way when we are joining p c now these two triangles or in this green triangle p f is your median and f is basically midpoint so it will divide the triangle in two equal areas let's call it as x and x now if we'll join p d so in this triangle p d c p g is a median so it's dividing into two equal areas y and y and similarly these areas will be z and z let us compare this figure with the original figure w plus x is equals to 24 similarly z plus y is equals to 10 x plus y is equals to 20 and z plus w is the area we have to find let us add left and right side separately we'll find w plus x plus y plus z is 34 in the left side and 20 plus the area to be found on the right side on comparing them we'll get our area as 14 units square in general we can say in questions like this whenever we are selecting a random point inside the square and dividing the square in these four areas then the sum of alternate areas that is sum of area of a plus c will always be equals to sum of area b plus d i hope you enjoyed the solution we'll see you in next video till then tata bye bye